Okay, so we're going to do a, um, a scrapbook layout. Um, this page I'm going to call Belly Shots. Um, this is for Noah's scrapbook. So I have my pictures that I would like to do. These are all pictures of me pregnant with my belly. Um, and so then I'm just going to cut out letters uh, with my Cricut, and I'm going to type in Belly Shots. So here's my tab. I'm probably going to do it at like one and a half inches. So I'm going to take the nozzle right here where it says size. Change it to one and a half. Okay, and then I'm just going to type my letters. So I'm going to do All right, and then we're just going to push cut. So I finished cutting, so we're just going to press and load. Then if you can see it. And then I'm just going to put that on um, my layout. So once I figure out how I'm going to cut these, then I should. Okay, so I have my letters. Um, and I've cut my pictures down to size that I like. I um, can't really get any smaller. Um, so a way to enhance your... Um, pictures. Whether you have a cricket or not, you can always cut out um, borders, things that go around the edges, things just to enhance them. So I'm using the same color paper as the letters. Um, and this um, cartridge has different types of um, flowers and shapes and stuff like that. So I'm going to cut a bunch of these right here and then just kind of like stick them behind the corners. So it kind of just has like a little pop behind it um, since it was summer and springy. So um, I'll do that and let's see if we can find it. Um, so I think it is this one right here. So I want the dark one. So I'm going to push, I think it's um, shadow. That right there. And I'll tell you. Right there where it is. I think that is it. So I'm going to make it pretty big. So I'm going to do it. Mm, four inches. And you can, they have measurements on the side right here. So you can kind of measure how big it'll be. So I think maybe three and a, a quarter. Three and three fourths. Okay. So I'm going to do a multiple cut. Um, multi cut. And I'm not sure how the multi cut works, I guess. I don't know how to pick it. Hmm. So I guess we'll just leave it like that now just to repeat last. Because I'm not really sure how you do multi cut. So I have it set right here. And then I'm just gonna push cut. you. I know you probably can't even see this, but what I decided to do, and with scrapbooking you always end up changing your mind, so I have one in the back that I cut it was like the three and three quarters. This one was two and three quarters, and I'm going to do one for three, and then I'm going to do a couple of them and just go down in sizes, so there's just a couple different sizes, so it kind of it kind of varies, so I think it would look good. So, that's the thing about scrapbooking, you got to trial and error, and then you can find out something you like. So, we're going to try this and see how it goes. So all I did was just change the size every time and then hit repeat last and then it comes up right here and then cut. Okay, so here is my layout. I haven't um, put anything down yet, but this is just what you can do is once you have everything, don't put anything down until you've got all your little pieces. So I can just move them around and put them wherever I want to. Um, you know, don't worry about it. You can overlap them on pictures. I put them behind the picture on all these. And then I just have them left over. And um, then you can just move the pictures around or the letters, however you want it. Um, 
So just have fun with it and enjoy. If you have any questions or any suggestions or um, any ideas you'd like me to try, just let me know. Thanks.